Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. This is Fred, the submarine guy here. Uh, we're down to video number four here. We're going to talk about our proven autoresponder, uh, which is Aweber, which you see right up here. I'm uh, inside my Aweber account right here. And uh, as you can see, uh, it tells you a little uh, uh, bit about it, your account here in the overview. You know, had 10 subscribers so far today, had seven yesterday, a couple of unsubscribes. Always glad to see those get off my list. And then it's got a schedule of broadcasts that I have going out. <clears throat> These are uh, coming up for tomorrow morning. Uh, this is my standard Monday, Wednesday, Friday uh, schedule. Uh, so that's uh, there. And then it sends you, a, it gives you a list of your recently sent out broadcast. Uh, here's one that I sent out. Uh, let's see, today is the 14th. This went out yesterday about my webinar. Um, it tells you how many people uh, opened it. This is a percentage here, and it also tells you the number actually opened it, how many people clicked on links in there, how many bounced, and if you had any complaints. Uh, once you email your list enough, you won't get any more complaints. Uh, maybe one here, one there. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, like I said, I, I email my list uh, generally four times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, with different topics. Uh, sometimes I have a, a topic that goes throughout the week, you know, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And I always send out a Saturday summary. And every now and then I might send out something on Sunday if there's some exciting news or uh, something I just finished or something like that. Anyway, here's uh, right below that is your list statistics. Uh, this is the list name, how many came in today, yesterday, total, grand total. So you can see how all your lists are doing kind of thing. Uh, obviously, I got more than I really use here very much. Uh, sometimes I just set them up for testing purposes. Anyway, that's about it for the home page. So what we do basically is um, we set up a series of messages here. Um, in Under messages, you have drafts, broadcast. Uh, you can do split tests, uh, campaigns. That's something a little different. Uh, Follow-up series and then broadcast. And then you can save your templates and things like that. I don't really bother with that very much. Most of my emails that go out are uh, from the legacy follow-up series and then the broadcast. Basically what happens is uh, for each campaign that I set up, <coughs> excuse me, I'll set up a follow-up series. Uh, I, you probably, if you followed me for long, you know one of my favorite statistics is 80% uh, of all sales are made between the 5th and the 20th contact. Uh, we used to think it was the 12th contact, but now that uh, more and more messages are going out to people about sales and stuff, we figure it's probably around the 20th. But uh, that kind of gives you an idea of why you need to uh, uh, follow up series like this uh, in your email campaign so people can, you know, you can keep in touch with your subscribers. And uh, basically what I do, you can see here I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. I've got 12 messages in this one. And um, the first one, of course, is thanks for asking. And you can see that 27% uh, of the people open that one. Uh, any questions, 19%. Uh, here's one that got a 23% open rate. Uh, 26, 20, almost 27 percent open rate, etc. And then here's some that hadn't gotten seen yet, right, at all, because they hadn't gone out yet. But basically, what you do is you have. Uh, I'll just open up one of these so you can see them. <coughs> Come on, baby, open up there. Here we go. And uh, basically it has, let me slide this over just a little bit there so you can see the edge. Uh, you have a subject line here which you can uh, change. Uh, you can uh, type in anything you want here. You can put um, URLs in there uh, kind of thing. And uh, then, of course, I always sign with my name and my website address and that kind of stuff like that. Uh, you can also embed pictures in here. Uh, you can put links to videos, links to your blog, uh, things like that. Uh, you can uh, uh, change the, the font type. 
uh, the size of the font. I generally send mine out in either 14 or 18 point font just for readability purposes. Uh, you know, at age uh, 65, some of us don't have as good a sight as we used to, <laughs> kind of thing. But basically, it's kind of like operating in Microsoft Word. You know, you can bold, italics, uh, underline it, uh, superscript, subscript, cross out kind of things. Here's where you can put a, a, a background on it, on the text. And here's where you can change, or uh, other way around. That's the text color, and this is the background color. Uh, put in your links right here, and etc. You know, a line left, line right, all that kind of stuff. But anyway, basically, you just uh, you have all these right here. Let me bring my picture up here and slide this over a little bit. I'll show you the save features down here on the bottom. It does auto save your messages. Uh, I think it's every five minutes, something like that. Uh, you can save it while you're working, or you can save and exit, which is what um, I normally do. Save and exit. <clears throat> uh, you can you all you can also put them in plain text or uh, things like that if you want to. So anyway, let's get this back over here, and then. Uh, Let's see, let me take you over here too under list options. This is where you set up a list. All of this will be done for you, by the way. Um, when, uh, you, when you join me here, what I'm going to do is I'll send you a code. And I'll show you where to put that in in a minute here. Uh, basically, this is where you set up your list here. The basic settings, the name of the list, what it's about, who it's from, your contact address, which is required by law. <clears throat> you can also set it up to uh, put, um, send you a notification when somebody subscribes to your list. Uh, you might want to do that the first couple of times. It's always exciting, you know, when you get your first couple of subscriptions. But when you start getting 20 or 30 per day, you probably want to turn that off because <laughs> uh, you'll be getting uh, email for everybody that signs up. Uh, then you can personalize it, of course, with your company, website address, uh, email signature. If you want to automate your email signature, I, I never do that. Uh, if you want it to go into Twitter or Facebook or things like that, you can choose these options. And then uh, confirmation message. Now, I always leave the confirmation messages off. Um, the reason is uh, people just are in such a hurry these days that a lot of times they will forget that they have a confirmation message that they have to go and click on. Basically what it does is when they sign up to a list, like my list, right, um, if you choose choose it to be on, your email program, your Aweber program, will send a confirmation message, which you can specify here, um, to your your uh, subscriber saying, hey, uh, looks like you just subscribed to our list. Please click here to confirm your, uh, your sign up. And then on the second click is when they're actually put into your list. But like I was saying, a lot of people just, uh, they either lose that message in the spam filters or they forget to look for it or they don't know to look for it even though it says, you know, it tells them about it. And things like that. So I just leave it off and go with single opt-ins. Um, I've never had one single complaint uh, from anybody that says, "Hey, I don't, I don't know why I'm getting your emails or anything like that," uh, because I'm real good about sending them messages. Like I said, you know, when I, when I, when they get on my list, they get an immediate message saying, "Thanks for asking," or "Thanks for subscribing," or "Here's what, here's the." Uh, um, Thing you ask for, you know, things like that, so that they know why you're sending it, and um, that way you keep, you know, in good touch with your subscribers. Uh, let's see. Let me show you one other thing too. Here, this is I'm still in this one follow-up series that I had up here. Um, I have these going out. This one, the second message goes out one day after the first one. This one goes out two days later, two days later, two days later. And then on down, I go to three days, three days, and three days. And if I go a little much further, I'll go to four, five, six, or seven day intervals. But basically, you want to um, 
stay in your prospects' minds this first week or so uh, by sending a message, you know, obviously immediately when they sign up to your list, and then again quickly so you can remind them, you know, in case they put this one off and said, oh, I'll get to it later. Of course, they never do. Uh, then this one will help them, you know, remind them to go look at your webinar or your blog or your whatever your, you know, info page is. And then the the further one, ones just talk more about the company or the product or me or the whatever it is, you know, that they signed up for and kind of urge them to go on and make the sale, et cetera, that kind of thing. So don't ever feel bad about uh, sending emails to your prospects. Uh, obviously, this may look kind of aggressive to some people, but I can tell you people are, are getting so many messages these days that, um, that they're being marketed to from radio, from TV, from billboards, from signs, uh, emails that come on to them, Instagram accounts, their Facebook accounts are just filled up with advertisements for products or services, uh, that kind of thing. I don't know if you ever noticed, but if if you uh, if you're on Facebook or some of those other social media accounts, and say you went uh, to uh, oh the shoe store today, and you looked at a couple of brands of shoes and things like that, and and all of a sudden you notice that when you get home that night, you're scrolling through your Facebook page, you probably see ads for shoes scrolling down the right-hand side of your menu. And you go, wow, that's weird. I was just at the shoe store today. I wonder how they knew that, you know, or things like that. Believe me, there's all kind of ways that people track not only your purchases, but your intent to pur purchase. Uh, certainly, if you've been on different websites during the day, um, anytime you click or watch a video or click for more information for sure certainly anytime you put your name in a form that kind of thing um, the websites will get a hold of your information and uh, through a number of different means they'll track you down on social media and put some ads on the side there they don't, they're not real blatant about it right they don't necessarily put it in your news feed or anything but uh, if you ever thought it was, hey, you know, kind of weird that, geez, I was just looking at, uh, uh, you know, corn on the cob or something. I don't know. I'm just making this up uh, at the store. And then all of a sudden you go home and there's ads for corn on the cob on the side of your social media. Kind of weird, right? Uh, anyway, uh, back to, we, I kind of digress there. This is the AWeber account that um, that is going to be the ba the backbone of our follow-up series, which runs our uh, business machine or, or our sales funnel. AWeber is the one we use specifically. Like I said, it's uh, I think it's a dollar for the first 30 days, or maybe it's free. I don't remember. And then it's uh, 19, uh, either $19 or $19.99 or $20 a month, something like that, $20 a month, uh, till you get up to 10,000 subscribers. And then it goes to like $25 a month or something like that. It's uh, It goes up from there, but I mean, you, you, you'll you be making a lot of money when you, we get that many subscribers, so it's not, not a big cost at all. So anyway, that's our um, Aweber campaign. Oh yeah, um, let's see. When, here's, here's the code I wanted to show you. Uh, when you join me, I'm going to send you a code, this code right here, which is my sharing code. And you're going to put this code in this box on your Aweber account to load my messages, okay? That way you don't have to type them. You don't have to format them. All you have to do is go into them and change the links like this and this and this and the name, obviously. Let me slide this over a little bit. Um, you know, change my name to yours. Uh, my link to yours, uh, blog links, whatever it is to change. Change those over to yours, hit save, and then it's your message. Uh, all all from uh, the ones that I did. Okay? So so that's where that goes. Uh, let me hit the backspace here. Again, it's under Legacy Follow-Up Series and Follow-Up Sharing. I'll send you, it won't be this code, but it'll be a code 
like that'll look like this aw list da 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 and you'll put it right in here you click load follow-up series there's some disclaimers like it's going to overwrite everything in your campaign well, that's what i wanted to do <laughs> so you got to acknowledge kind of thing so uh, that's how you get all the aweber messages you'll customize them to yourself and you'll be off and running with uh, your follow-up series for your business machine uh, that's run by Aweber. Okay, that's all we have for today. Uh, tomorrow's, or the next video actually, is going to be how do we put all this together in about 15 minutes, get start uh, running prospects to it, and uh, we'll go from there. Have a great day.